Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Season 1, Episode 2. Thoughts? This episode is called 084. So, spoilers for the MCU leading up to and including this episode. Another episode I love. And, yeah, before I dive into it, the top link in the description box will allow you to donate to the SAG After Strikers. Please do so. An extremely important strike. And then there are some links to videos that help explain why the strike is so important. So, right, and before I get into this specific episode, I I don't know how I managed to not, but I don't think I said at the end of the video on episode one, obviously, when Coulson says to Sky, you have ten minutes to decide whether or not you want to find out what a 084 is, you know, he's basically, he's talking to the audience, only we have a week. You know, that's basically, yeah, and, and that's a great hook, you know, what are they going to do next episode? Well, you know, it's, it's something that Sky has never heard of before, kind of thing, you know, so, yeah. Right, and I also, um, the, the comic book behind me will just rotate, I'm probably only going to put a, put any Marvel books up there, but it's, you know, I got a bunch of X-Men comics, so I put up purely X-Men ones when I was doing that show. I don't have any Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. comics. I honestly only recently realized there was a specific book for, you know, and I don't have enough Avengers books to, to you know, to cycle only those. So, yeah. Honestly, a lot of them are probably going to be Spider-Man books. A significant chunk of the Marvel books I have are, are Spider-Man. So, into... To, to get into this specific episode, yeah, we have the 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 classic, you know, oh, nothing but blue skies from here on, and then something bad happens. And yeah, I mean, technically, yeah, blue skies, you know, there's a hole in the plane, you can see the blue sky. He, he's not lying, you know, like, he didn't say when we get back, the plane is going to be in one piece. And 19 hours earlier. I'm trying not to make too many alias references, but you're not making it very easy for me, show. And, yeah, nobody on the team is really much of a fan of Sky, are they? Everybody has some objection. And, yeah, the last 084 was Mjolnir. And, yeah, so they get to the, the temple, and, yeah, great fight with, uh, you know, May and Ward each taking out, like, basically so the one, where two, I think, I guess she takes out two, they take out a couple of guys, and then the rest of the military show up, and it's one of those things where, like, I mean, if the rest, if they had that many, they could have just attacked all at once instead of, but, yeah. That wasn't the scene they wanted in the episode. And, yeah, turns out that... Uh, Coman, what was it? Comandante Reyes knows Coulson. And... Let's see... I honestly did not really mind... You know, I don't love Sky like, asking Coulson at the end of the episode, so you two are doing it, huh? But... Like, Rey is, you know, it doesn't quite succeed, but she is trying to use sex as a weapon. And, you know, like, last time, it actually was, she did actually want him once. But, you know, now, the, yeah, the, the cause has come between them. It's one of those stories. And, yeah, it, it felt more natural, I guess, is, it, it didn't feel... There's probably going to be a lot of it. It's a it's a network show, you know. It's going to have violence, sex, you know, language. It's it, you know, it's trying to do that as like appeal stuff. And I hope they keep going. I I hope the rest of it will be more like in this episode than in the pilot. And yeah, Sky very much favors the rebels. Ward not so much. 
Thank you for extracting me. See, I told it the show makes it very, very difficult for me to not make these references. And the yeah, so this is your first mission to go. No, of course not. It's our second. So I was your first. That's sweet. First day of school. And the <laughs> I did I did like when when you know, Sky tries to, to mend things with, with Ward, and she's like, so, I think you and I may have got, gotten off on the wrong foot. So, what I said about the Rebels, you know, I want you to know I'm not, like, oblivious. It's about the tweets. <laughs> Which, like, oh, that, huh, oh, you just made it so much worse. Oh, honey, you just went and done the dumbest thing in your whole life. But then she explains, you know, no, not like, not like that tweets. But I'm saying, this, you know, the they used social media to connect and were able to come together to solve things. And yeah, um, still feels kind of like they're just they're they're saying things they figure will appeal to us left wingers and the audience of MCU. But at least this time they are actually taught that is. You know, that is part of the solution, is coming together, you know, yeah. You know, essentially she's describing a co-op. So, yeah. Here's hoping that that, that that's what they're going to do. And, and again, that is, I'm not sure I, I, you know, quite explored that enough in my video in the first episode. But yeah, basically Sky is here to appeal to us far left types. You know, because because it is very much this thing of if if the if you're not a big fan of the government, you're probably even less of a fan of this kind of shady like because nobody's you know who's holding Shield accountable. Most people don't know Shield exists, you know. So and and she's gonna be the one to you know she's gonna try to to pull them in the positive direction. And, yeah, so they all end up captured and, you know, they, they talk about, ah, how do we, how do we solve this? And one of the scientists is like, well, first we got to get, you know, we, we have to get away from the, the, you know, from where we're tied up. And you hear a crack and you see, you know, her, um... Um, her Melinda May's face twitch, and you know, <laughs> Ward is like, yeah, that was that was her wrist. <laughs> I mean, not when that's her name, that's the actress's name. You know, so yeah, that was, <laughs> and it, um, I don't know if I'm gonna bother saying this every single episode, but yeah, great action, just like the first one, and. You know, and, and, like, it lined up with the dialogue, but I figure May had already thought of it. She was just waiting for that guard to be, you know, to, she, she had to break his line of sight in order to, you know. And I like that the planning, you know, the, you know, if the camera cuts away from the, the crew, and then back, and then say, oh, and, and, you know, someone's like, okay, everybody knows what they're supposed to do, you know, so it's like, oh, okay, while we were watching other characters, they were planning, and they've all agreed, they all know what they're supposed to do, because it's not really necessary, you know, unless the plan is going to go horribly wrong, we don't know, we don't need to know the details before it actually happens, before they carry it out, uh, you know, this way we'll be surprised, even though it is something that was planned that you know that can be more compelling to, to watch not always and right and and I like the you know Reyes says you know the the team is very green you know he's like oh they they just need time mm, I don't have time and and he's like you gave them something even better common enemy very cool fight in the cockpit and yeah we are back to the opening and yeah you know very very cool to see you know exactly why 
there was that explosion. You know, no, you you win no prizes for guessing that it had something to do with the zero eight four. You know, that was pretty much like guaranteed. But I do appreciate the detail that no, it was actually on purpose. Like the the scientists intentionally did the thing, you know, and we again have, you know, set up and pay off. You know, they, they it's, when they're talking about the, you know, and using the, the, that same, you know, like they put their hands up and like do the, you know, it's, it's like their, their, their hands are the, the mouse, you know, basically. And it's the same system as uh, Tony uses to build suits in, in, some of the solo movies, for example, you know, and and I, I believe it's Fitz says, you know, I mean, we were just lucky that the drone didn't blow up the thing, and, you know, ah, so that's how they know later how to blow up the thing, and yeah, you know, um, Ward is now on board with the idea that maybe Sky could become a field agent. And May, don't hold her the cavalry. She really came through for them in this episode. Holy crap! You know she's like so. I mean, in that case, she'll she'll need an SO, someone disciplined, someone good. Ward, do you know anyone? <laughs> See, not every reference I'm going to make is going to be Alias. I I am really glad they did translate that because I heard SO and I was like. Significant other? What? Let's see. Which, you know, fair enough. That that makes fine sense for, oh, you know, getting book recommendations. But, like, I would have been very confused here at this end if May was like, you know, you should be Sky's significant other award. That would have been like, oh, okay, I mean, I, I don't think there's anything wrong with polyamory, but I would be surprised if Ward didn't think that there was, and, um, yeah, you know, turns, we, we see at the very end that apparently Skye is a double agent, she is still working for the Rising Tide, and, you know, that's obviously gonna be something, you know, yeah, we'll, we'll see how that works out if, Ultimately, you know, she ends up siding with S.H.I.E.L.D. or the Rising Tide, and if, yeah, you know, and, and you know, Coulson does say, you know, he knows that she's a risk. And we end on a brief sequence of Nick Fury with Sam Jackson doing the Sam Jackson thing, you know, but yeah, always fun, never... I will never turn down some some good Sam Jacksoning, and I think that might be what. Right. Um. So basically, yeah, this this episode is about whether or not this team can function as a unit. Which, you know, the 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 first episode tells us that they never have before, but we don't quite see if they can just yet. You know, in the, the first episode, there's a lot of the individual members working independently of each other. This, they're a team. You know, early on, they're bickering. They, they do not agree on whether or not they're speaking English. And, the you know, by the end, they, they all planned it together and... Yeah. When Phil asked who whose idea was it to blow a hole in the plane, was he, like, just checking to see if there were any snitches on the team? Because it's like, I don't know, I guess maybe he wanted, he was hoping that someone would say it was everyone's idea. You know, if you're going to punish anyone, you should punish all of us. I liked when, uh, you know, Coulson tries to, to calm things down, and he's like, you speak six languages, you have two PhDs in subjects I can't even pronounce, you know, you should you should be able to work together. And he walks off, and Sky's like, I'm good at stuff too. Poor thing felt left out. 
you know, I mean, I think in Phil's defense, she wasn't really part of the bickering. That's why he didn't really talk about if there was stuff she was good at. But, you know, she's perhaps not the most... She's maybe a little bit insecure, especially in the current circumstances, which one can understand. Um, yeah, I think... Uh, right, uh, uh, as uh, for Lefty, I am not a huge fan of the... Like, basically, almost every single Latin American that appears in this episode, you know, like, basically the archaeologist is the only exception. All of them, like, betray, you know, like, they're, they're like, oh, you know, this is, a, you know, Phil, old Philip old friend of the Comandante, and they're happy to just betray him and his team. And, um, and, and then you have the rebels who, you know, like, Sky idolizes, but then it's like, oh, but they are dangerous, and it just... You know, and, and I mean, really, by the end of the episode, they are as that, the, the rebels are kind of vindicated. You know, they were right to, to, you know, not trust the military, you know, screwing around with this old temple. There really was an incredibly dangerous weapon there. So I, I kind of wish that they had made a bigger thing of that. You know, it wouldn't have been impossible to just have, like, at the end, have, have a, one of the rebels, you know, find out. You know, yeah, the weapon did not end up in the hands of the military. But I think that might be what I have to... Oh, right, right, yeah. And there at the end when, you know, Fitz, uh, you know, talks about the the thing blowing up and, and Ward is like, Fitz, English. I kind of wanted him to be like, okay, Ward... Thing go boom, okay, you know, just, and yeah, that is it, so, yeah, um, sometimes the second episode of a show is, like, is, you know, not, not the best thing ever, I thought they did well here, so, yeah, that is it. Catch you again tomorrow. Never call me the cavalry.